Welcome back to Marigo Bay, St. Lucia, that we just arrived to at the end of the last episode. There are a few places that in our six years of cruising the Florida Keys, U.S. East Coast, Bahamas, and the Caribbean stand out as favorites. Marigo Bay is definitely one of them. Highly protected from the Caribbean Sea by this narrow channel, it is very comfortable, and the beautiful little mangrove lagoon has surprisingly clean, clear water. Access to the amenities of this five-star resort for the small fee of our mooring also doesn't hurt the case for Marigo as one of the best anchorages ever. In addition to the resort, Marigo is surrounded by all the natural beauty of St. Lucia in a much more rural area than Rodney Bay while also being surrounded by palm tree lined beaches and awesome little Caribbean bars and restaurants. Check out all this and more with us on our next episode of Fun on Holiday. So about that resort, for a $30 a day mooring fee, this is where we got to hang out. We've heard we got pretty lucky since just after we left it was turned into an all-inclusive resort and cruisers started having to pay a few more fees to use the amenities. But I think when we go back, I'll probably pay them and still think it's a great deal. At any rate, through our time at Marigo, our first decision of the day was usually, hey, when do you want to go to the pool? Yes, life is good in Marigo Bay. We had also heard about a nearby restaurant called Roots that was featured on a television show called Restaurants on the Edge. We watched the show that told a really cool story about the owners, then headed there with our friends Steve and Karen on Soulshine. The hike up to the restaurant from the bay was a very, very steep hill. <laughs> Finally at the top. It was a steep hill. <laughs> it's amazing. We had just enough time before our dinner reservation to watch the beautiful sunset, so we walked over to the best vantage point where we saw some locals had gathered.
After the beautiful sunset, it was time to head back to Roots for dinner, and the food and atmosphere there definitely did not disappoint. the next evening Lindy's made a carbonara with local pasta and local vegetables mmm this looks good but what I really wanted to show is another beautiful sunset here in Marigo this place is amazing that's the view right out of the cockpit <laughs> Just awesome. There's all these little inns and restaurants around. Main marina and resort over there where we're going to the pool daily. <laughs> and just amazing sunsets. Yes, we like Marigo. <laughs> we also enjoyed hanging out on the spectacular little stretch of beach lined with palm trees that was only a couple hundred yards away from Holiday. In addition to just being awesome, this stretch of beach in Marigo Bay is famous as the filming location of the 1967 movie Dr. Doolittle. Here at this beach is where the great pink sea snail swims ashore. This stretch of beach also has some historical significance. French ships would sail deep into the bay and hide behind the row of palm trees from the English fleet, lowering their sails and tying palm fronds to their masts to blend in with the palms. Another interesting fact, even though most of the islands of the Eastern Caribbean changed hands between the English and the French over the years, St. Lucia holds the distinction with the most changeovers at 14. Good life we're living when uh, we're having to decide, oh, should we go to the same pool as yesterday or try the other one? <laughs> so we're trying the other one. The pool we've been going to is the top one up there. Now we're on the lower pool. It looks pretty awesome. Got us a waterfall, it's an infinity pool. Right here is the dinghy dock, five feet right down there. Holiday is just over there. <laughs> Let's check out the water.
Of course, we wanted to check out some of the waterside restaurants as well, so we headed over to Chateau Migo, just past the strip of beach and over next to the resort. And like every day in Marigo, we ended it with another beautiful sunset. are still in Marigo Bay and we just got back from the pool and we took some showers and now Zach is cooking dinner which <laughs> uh, doesn't happen a lot on holiday although it happened all the time when we lived on land well it's not too uh, uh, labor intensive because we're making paella out of a can that we got in uh, Martinique so they had all kinds of neat canned stuff in the French islands and uh, as we were leaving, we thought, well, we haven't tried enough of that. But it's not just any paella, it's fruits de mer, so. Yeah, uh, apparently within this can is uh, lots of seafood, I guess. Seafood. Probably calamari and shrimp and fish <laughs> in a can, so uh, yeah, we'll see. Food is done, it turned out pretty well. What do you think, Lindy? Uh, yeah, it looks delicious. There we go, paella. Heated up some of our uh, local Lots. bread. Yeah. There we go. And of course, as always, we're gonna watch some Netflix and just uh, eat our yummy food. All right, and I think tomorrow we are going to uh, head out of Marigo Bay. It's been awesome here, but yeah. uh, we're gonna go down, I don't know, to the next anchorage in St. Lucia. Yeah. All right. And uh, yeah. We've got the boat set up just to move about uh, three miles south down the coast. We're going to a beach anchorage called Aunt's Kachong, I think. <laughs> yeah, Marigo. This is sailing vessel Maracuja here. We're going over there with them today. Gonna do some touring with them. Last look at that beautiful beach the resort yeah <laughs> haven't done too much prep on the boat we're just gonna motor so uh, yeah looks good down here time to get moving in a sec
anchor set now. It's a beautiful little bay. Looks like an awesome beach. See lots of snorkelers around. Here comes Maracuja in. We decided snorkeling would be the first order of the day. We headed over with Gary and Chantal from Maracuja to where it looked like there were some really good reefs. And were they ever good? We've been lots of places with good snorkeling, but unfortunately it's all too common for reefs to show quite a bit of damage from environmental hazards. Here in St. Lucia we found a thriving, beautiful, undamaged reef full of life and color. Definitely up there with the best snorkeling spots we've seen while out cruising.
It's pretty rolly in this anchorage and we're only three miles away from Marigo. So we're gonna go back there and anchor for the night and then probably come back by this anchorage tomorrow on our way down to, we'll eventually get the city of Soufraire and we're gonna stay there a few days. So yeah, uh, all right, let's get back underway and go to where we're not so rolly. <laughs> all right, we're back where we started here in Marigo. So we're in the outer harbor this time. We just decided to anchor out here next to Doolittle's. Should get us a nice sunset tonight. Yeah. All right. Looks like Lindy's got something going down here. I'm making a soup. It's gonna be potato and kale. Nice. <laughs> With some carrots and a turnip and onion. Cool. Yep. There you have it. Okay, fun day. Stay tuned for our next episode where we head south to Soufraire, land of the pitons and many other natural wonders. So we're still, still, that? 